like to invite both of them to say a few words today. We'll first hear a little bit from Ms. Ta, and then we'll hear from Mr. Raghunathan. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Esplanade, and I really hope you've enjoyed Soul Jam uh, and the music. You know, artists don't make music just from within. They make music in response to the world around them, and therefore the arts cannot ignore the climate crisis. Esplanade is happy to represent the arts in today's event um, and to partner the WWF for on our festival. And we thank all of you, we thank WWF as well for any effort that you make to love and respect the earth we're in. So thank you everyone, hope you enjoy the rest of the evening and I'm going to pass this on now to Mr. Rao. Wow. Yes, the Minister of State, Ms. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to WWF Earth Hour Festival 2023 at the Esplanade. Oh! As Jenny mentioned, this is the first Earth Hour Festival since 2019 that we are doing on a physical basis. I hope you've all enjoyed the climate conscious activities that we have hosted for everyone over the three days of this festival. Now, as you may all know, Singapore has recently committed to achieve net zero by 2050. This is particularly relevant for Singapore, given that we face many threats, such as rising sea levels, as well as the urban heat island effect, many of which, many of whom you may not know the details of. So as we live in an urban environment, uh, the temperatures tend to rise, and this requires us to uh, increase the amount of cooling that we need to cool temperatures and keep things going. Unfortunately, it increases the carbon emissions and is not good for the planet. So, as uh, lights go dark this earth hour, we all need to do our collective bit to mitigate the impact of climate change. I would request all of you to take simple actions that you can to uh, in your everyday lives that will enable us to move collectively towards net zero. These simple actions could be things like switching lights off when they are not required, increasing the temperature settings of your air conditioners at work or at home to 25 degrees Celsius, or taking public transport to work or anywhere else you may choose to go. So I thank you once again for being here tonight with us. And I also want to thank all the partners who have uh, helped us in making this event successful, including the Esplanade. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you both for your inspiring words. Now, I just ask that you please remain on stage. Everyone, we are just minutes away from the iconic switch off event. So, are you all ready? Yes! Ready? Yes! Okay, now I'd like to invite our guest of honor, Minister of State, Ms. Sim Ann, to the stage. Ms. Sim Ann, please. Oh. Oh. All right, now before we go, we proceed, we're going to take a group photo with our three guests over here, but not just three of them. It's three of them with all of you. It's going to be one of those type <laughs> photos, okay? So I don't want you guys to be in the background looking like you are confused. <laughs> I want you to look like you are excited to be here because I'm sure you are. So as we count you down, I'd like to see your biggest smiles and as much enthusiasm as you can muster because this is the picture that's going to be everywhere. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready. Okay, ready? All right. Now I'm going to count you down. One. Two, three! Yeah! Okay, hold your, hold your poses. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. All right. Now I invite Miss Simon to say a few words. <laughs> thank you very much. Mr. Xie Fu Hua, Chairman of WWF Singapore, CEO of WWF Singapore, Mr. R. R. Gunadun, 
and our CEO of Esplanade, Ms. Yvonne Tam, board members of WWF Singapore, ladies and gentlemen, all our distinguished guests, thank you very much for having me here with all of you at Earth Hour Festival as we get ready to witness many iconic landmarks in Singapore dip into darkness for an hour to commemorate Earth Hour. I'm here to represent the Ministry of National Development because we're one of the ministries involved in the Singapore Green Plan and as such, we're fully committed to supporting Singapore uh, in terms of our corporates, in terms of our organisations, our communities and of course Singaporeans in helping to meet our climate commitments and doing our part for Mother Earth. So this year's uh, switch off event, uh, I understand, has received even more support than last year. Last year, more than 1,000 establishments took part, and this year, there are even more. For instance, the Orchard Road Business Association is also a part of switch off, and this means that our famous shopping street, uh, you're also going to see their bright hazards dimmed for an hour as we commemorate this very important milestone. And of course, my ministry, the Ministry of National Development, we are also taking part. Our building uh, is also going to be part of the switch off, as we have done for the last few years. Of course, we all know that events like the switch off uh, is something that we don't do every single day. It is especially meaningful because the intention is to raise awareness. It is something where we hope building owners uh, as well as the people who do business and work in the buildings can come together and can focus our minds on the importance of honouring our climate targets. And I think it is this awareness that's going to power us through the rest of the year and in fact the decades as we look for more ways to be responsible to Mother Earth and as we work hard towards achieving the Singapore Green Plan and also leaving a sustainable future, building a sustainable future for ourselves and also for the next generation. So on this note, uh, thank you very much once again uh, for having me, uh, the Ministry of National Development, as well as our fellow ministries in the Singapore Green Plan are more than happy to be part of this occasion. Thank you very much, Esplanade, for hosting and thank you, WWF Singapore, for what you do. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. M. Now, we have a few minutes before the countdown, so I'd like to hear from the audience.